Hi, this is Miriam Castilla and welcome to the Manifesting Playground where we apply law of attraction in practical and magical ways to get you in alignment both in business and life so you can have more money in the bank and get a lot more done with ease. Let's talk about the five steps to take you from a five-figure business to a six-figure business. I get asked this a lot. And the thing is that, like everything else, it won't surprise you that it really needs to start from inside of you because your external world is nothing but a reflection of your internal world, right? Because you, baby cakes, are the creator of your life. So the thing about a five-figure business versus a six-figure business is really a five-figure business is more of a, it's a part-time income usually, it's a bit of a hobby, and usually it's not your main source of income. And if it is, you're probably finding it a bit of a stretch money-wise every single week, month, and year. So when you move to a six-figure business, then you're really looking at a full-time income and a source of income that can sustain possibly your entire household, or at least really make a difference to your lifestyle. And once you hit the six figure income, you can then, when you're in business, start to look at leveraging it, refining it further and growing it to multiple six figures and seven figures. Really, it's up to you how far you want to go with it. So there are a few key things that move you out of being stuck in that five figure business, you know, part time, hobby, um, just kind of managing to do okay but feeling stuck to six figures where you're really serious and it's a business that can continue to grow as far as you choose to go with it. There are a few key things that will help you make that leap. So I'm just going to get straight into it and share those with you. Number one, you really need to get clear on why it's worth bothering. Because the thing is that in order to move from the five-figure business, which becomes a bit of a comfort zone, sometimes an uncomfortable comfort zone, but nevertheless, it's what you're used to, to move out of that and into a six-figure business space where you're really having to step up as the CEO of your business, it's going to require you to move out of that comfort zone, to do some things differently to how you have been doing in the past so that you can get different results, right? And nothing will motivate you more and inspire you more than knowing why it's worth bothering. So spend some time sitting down and writing all that out. What's it actually all about? Why is it worth doing whatever you're going to need to do to take that leap, to move past that kind of invisible ceiling and get to the other side. You're going to need inspiration rather than motivation. And inspiration comes from within. Inspiration comes from being in alignment and feeling guided towards your higher purpose and a higher expression of who you are, stepping into all that you're capable of, rather than motivation, which tends to be a bit of a push, like get on with it because you know you need to pay the bills and you'll be much more comfortable and all those kind of more external motivators, that will only get you so far. But inspiration will keep pulling you forward. And I'll let you know how to get some really powerful inspiration at the end of this video, so stick around. So that's the first thing you wanna do. The second thing you want to do is you want to look at what am I getting out of staying stuck in this comfort zone of five figures? What is my secondary gain? So what's a secondary gain? A secondary gain is when you're somewhere in your staying in a place that you say you don't want to be, but you're getting something out of it. Even if it's just at the unconscious level and you have no awareness, there's something in it for you. So for example, um, you know, not using a business example, but something different. For example, if you're somebody who has been injured and you've got time off work because you need to heal and you're just not getting better, then you might look at things like, well, why am I unconsciously stopping myself from healing? Is it because I don't want to go back in the rat race? I don't want to start, you know, having to battle traffic again and worry about childcare and all of those things. So you may not like the fact that you're in pain and you're uncomfortable and you're not working and you're not feeling productive and you say you want to get better and get back to work. But the secondary gain you know, there's something still in it for you. And that is why you're unconsciously creating being stuck there. So that's an example in the health space, but you can look at that 
from your business point of view and go, okay, what is staying at this five figure level giving me? What am I getting out of it? What is the secondary gain? And once you establish that, then you can look at ways of still meeting that need without needing to stay stuck at the five figure business level. So that's the second one. Let's move on to the third one. And that is having to look at, okay, to get me from the five figures to the six figures, what kind of things am I going to need to do? How do I need to show up differently? How do I need to do things in new ways that match the six figure business owner model that I'm moving towards? What are those things that I have to do? So let's just pretend we had a magic wand and fast forward at the clock and there you are, you're running your six figure, maybe multiple six figure, maybe seven figure business, but let's just start with six figures, right? One step at a time. There you are, you're running it. What are the things you're doing on a daily basis that allow you to have that and sustain it? Make a list because you know what? You already know what it takes. Make a list and get really clear. What are the things you need to do? And then let's move on to the fourth step, which is very important. Look at that list of things you need to do and work out who do you need to be in order to consistently do those things. Because what you do and what shows up in terms of your actions is a reflection of who you are being, of your unconscious state, your personality, basically. So look at that and decide who do I need to be? Like, do I need to be somebody who's very disciplined? Do I need to be somebody who knows when I get worn out and tired and who has systems and processes and you know, a, a structure in place around me to keep me in good health, in good energy. Am I somebody, am I going to need to be somebody who's very open and honest with my family so that they support me? Do I need to be somebody who's willing to ask for help with childcare or whatever it is, or having my partner help out around the house more? Do I need to be more honest? Do I need to be more upfront? Do I need to be less of a perfectionist? Who do I need to be in order to do those things in my business and my life that is going to allow me to move from five figures to six figures? And then last but not least, having done all of the above, the fifth step that I've got for you to move you from a five-figure business to a six-figure business is to make a plan. You already know what you need to be doing. You already know who you need to become. So what's the plan to get you there? What's the plan to help you get past the secondary gain that's keeping you stuck here? What is the plan that's going to help you tap into your why and you know, really getting that inspiration from within that will keep you motivated to keep showing up? What are the steps? So look at that from both a mindset perspective and a business strategy perspective, because there will be certain things you need to do in your business. Maybe you need to make this year all about systemizing your business, investing in it, and setting yourself up so that you can next year have more reach, reach more people, convert them more easily and have your structure in place so that that's all manageable. Maybe that's what this year needs to be about so that it's a plan to get you there. And mindset wise, what do you need? Do you need to really invest in maybe some mentors, coaches or programs to help you release some of your money blocks, release some of those old stories that are keeping you trapped in the you know, hand to mouth kind of pattern? Or do you need to mindset wise, start to actually allow yourself to be the person you need to be stepping up, asking for what you want, asking for the sale, showing up as the expert in your field? You know, is it that side of things? But look at both mindset and strategy and make a plan. What do you need? Whose help do you need? What support systems do you need to put in place? And what is the plan? Step it out, map it all out, and then get busy moving along it. So that's five steps to help you move from a five-figure business to a six-figure business. Now, remember the first step I gave you was connecting with your why really deeply at the unconscious level. So it gives you inspiration that pulls you forward, calls you forward, even when you're having a bad day or a bad week, rather than motivation that's really like somebody cracking the whip over you. Because you know what? We'll only put up with that for so long before we tell them to nick off.
right? So to do that, make sure you grab my core values course. It's a mini course that you can do in your own time that helps you uncover your core values and really connect to them at the deepest of levels. And that will give you that fuel in the tank and connect you to your why. So get busy with that. And until I see you next, keep on embracing your beautiful and unlimited potential. Bye.